Osteoporosis is a silent disease that leaches calcium and destroys bones. It's most often associated with postmenopausal women. But the fact is, men get osteoporosis too. And as NJN News health and medical correspondent Sarah Lee Kessler reports, the consequences can be devastating. One out of two women over 50 will suffer an osteoporosis-related fracture in their lifetime. So it's no wonder that brittle bone disease is thought of as a women's health issue. But that's a misconception because men get osteoporosis too. It's estimated that at least 2 million men have osteoporosis and probably another 12 million are at risk and undiagnosed. 62-year-old Marty Sacamano was diagnosed seven years ago after breaking his wrist and forearm in an icy fall outside his house. I was very surprised because I had heard the term once or twice and I associated with a woman's ailment that only women would have osteoporosis. In men, one of the primary causes is hypogonadism or testosterone deficiency. But as in women, other causes include lack of vitamin D and calcium, lack of exercise, too much alcohol consumption, too much caffeine in the diet, smoking, and long-term use of corticosteroids. Dr. Mark Wiesen, an osteoporosis expert and chief of endocrinology at Holy Name Hospital in Teaneck, says osteoporosis can have dire consequences. It's estimated that 25% of individuals who sustain a hip fracture will die within one year. 25% of hip fractures occur in men, yet the medicines used to treat osteoporosis are marketed to women, not a male face on these boxes or in this literature. It's a disservice to men because uh, we have the possibility of a hip fracture besides other smaller fractures, and uh, they can be corrected. Treatment with a bone-building drug plus testosterone therapy has helped. Still, Marty says osteoporosis has made him apprehensive. I was afraid to, to walk on ice again for a long time. That fear was in me. Weight-bearing exercise and a calcium-rich diet reduce the risk. Sarah Lee Kessler, NJN News, Teaneck.